Hi YouTubers, this is Madness358 and um, I'm going to talk about algae and whether it's actually bad or good and um, to many people it might seem bad but um, the reality is algae is sometimes your friend. Um, the thing about keeping fish in your lounge room is that, that we like to keep things clean and keep in with our living space. This basically extends to what is in the tank and how clean it is. Like this one for instance. To newcomers, um, what we tend to associate is uh, algae as being bad and uh, we need to get rid of it. That would be uh, most people's initial reaction. But um, it's really not the case. The problem with this scenario is that we t tend to associate uh, cleanliness as to where life is hospitable to us and to fish likewise where they would thrive in such a clean environment but as you keep fish over time you tend to realize that it is not necessarily the case and dirty algae is actually probably your friend a hospital environment for fish does not necessarily mean an ultra clean tank what you tend to realize is that dirty things like algae and waste matter from fish um, they all serve as a balancing act to keep fish and its related environment alive and healthy. If you know about the nitrogen cycle, you know what I mean. Algae is a herald. It in, in itself is, isn't the cause of the, um, the bad water in the tank, but more of a sign. And in doing so, it's actually making it less toxic for fish. So, for example, this pleco can do what he does and it's just basically stay still. Algae, the other thing about algae is that it's actually a food source. There's a lot of fish that actually loves algae and um, here you can see koi. If they get really hungry, um, what will happen is that they'll actually munch on, on algae as well. You also got um, these cyprinids and what I mean is um, the flying fox and the Siamese algae either there. These fish like the flying fox um, they actually rely on algae to eat. They're, um, their mouths are adapted to, to, to taking algae. And um, yeah, so it's actually a good um, alternative food source for them as Even well. Even the bristle nose. Well, we know he, it's, he's an algae eater and um, he needs algae to survive. But obviously he'll eat anything else as well. But, um, but you, what I'm trying to say is that uh, algae is actually your friend and not your foe, even though they may look really dirty in doing what they actually do. Algae is actually not that bad when you consider it as a food source. It contains many minerals and vitamins and um, even uh, carotene, which um, gives the fish their colour. It's even said that koi living in a pea soup of algae in a pond actually gives them more colour. Well, I don't really know if that's correct, but the only really enforces my understanding and role of what and how beneficial algae may be. So what's next? Well, it's probably great to see some algae in the tank. Um, because of the, the things that I said. I still feel that you still need a clean tank, but don't be too alarmed if there's some algae in there. It really won't kill your fish, and it probably is removing um, a lot of um, the uh, nitrogen and nitrate and phosphates and probably a lot of minerals out of there, um, making it livable for your fish. So, but at the same token, I wouldn't be like, um, letting it loose all around the tank um, giving it um, you know letting on the glass and everywhere so you, you don't have any viewing pleasure but but um, but there you go at least you know that um, algae is your friend and really not your enemy